How to Bay the Dog, a step-by-step -step guide. Baiting a dog has gotten a bad rap. Popular media likes to portray bats as a messy, chaotic, and unpleasant experience for dogs and the person baiting them. In reality, the experience need not be unpleasant and with the right information and attitude, it can be an enjoyable experience for you both. In this video we will run through the basics, from choosing where to bathe your dog, what shampoo to use on your dog, and helpful tips and tricks for baiting your dog. Choosing where to bathe your dog When most people think of giving a dog a bath, they assume that they are doing it in their own bathtub. While this is an option, it is far from the only choice. In fact, it is quite likely that you have had a less than pleasant experience with this technique. Either way, let's take a quick run through of your options when it comes to giving your dog a bath. At home in the bathtub, the old standby, you can't beat the convenience or the price of using your own bathtub. You can however beat the experience. If you are planning to bathe at home an extendable shower head and non-slip mat are highly recommended. The extendable shower head is a lifesaver. Not only does it allow you to get in all the nooks and crannies of your dog, but it really penetrates dense coats making the rinsing process much faster. Non-slip shower mats also are great because they provide extra traction for your dog so that he or she is not fearful of moving around in the tub and slipping. If you do not have a shower mat, a simple towel on the floor of the tub will also do the trick. You will want to get your dog accustomed to being in the tub before attempting a bath. Create positive feelings with the location and the process with plenty of toys and treats. Low-calorie training treats are great for shaping the behavior you want. Pros Free Fast Cons It can be difficult for a large dog to get in or out of the tub. Post-bath shakes can soak you and your bathroom. Lots of laundry, a large dog can easily soak through a laundry load of towels. During shedding season, dogs with long hair can plug your drain. Post-bath sumis can leave your house a mess. Outside with the house. If you have a large dog who is scared of the tub, sometimes they will feel more comfortable getting a bath in the backyard. Outside your dog is not confined to a tight space and less likely to feel trapped or scared. When bathing outdoors always use a leash and collar with proper identification. As we said before, dogs can be amazing escape artists and even if they are not fearful of bathing, could attempt to run away from you, safety first. Pros Free Fast No mess to clean up Cons If you do not have a hot water spigot, the water may be too cold for your dog. Always check to make sure. Soap suds drain right into your lawn, which may be an environmental issue depending on the type of shampoo you are using. Make sure that they don't get loose after washing, or you could be in for a muddy mess. At a self-wash station Many local pet stores now offer pet grooming stations where you can bathe your dog for a small fee. We have found the convenience to be well worth the cost. Pros Raise tubs so you don't have to spend 30 minutes bent over and end up with a sore back. Waterproof aprons, shampoo, and towels are provided. Door or cutout built into the tub so that your dog can walk right in. No more awkward and dangerous lifting. Professional grade dryers. Saves time and does a better job. They do the cleanup for you. Self-wash stations are stocked with fresh towels and they even take care of drain cleanup and errant water droplets. Cons. Have to pay to use. Occasional time limits. May not be allowed to bring in a skunk sprayed dog or your own shampoos, call ahead to find out. Messes are not always scheduled during regular business hours. Choosing the right dog shampoo. When it comes to dog shampoos, there are literally hundreds of options. It is very important to take into consideration your dog's skin and hair type, as well as any allergy issues before making your decision. Below is a quick outline of some of the options out there so that you may better choose what is right for your pup. Coat-Specific Dog Shampoo Whether your pup's hair is straight or curly, dry or greasy, there is a dedicated solution. We love Isle of Dog's extensive line of shampoos, conditioners and treatments because they have formulations for all dog hair types. Organic Dog Shampoo If you are a stickler for natural and organic products like we are, there are plenty of great dog shampoo options. We have tested and enjoyed both four-legger and organic Oscar. 
Flea and Tick Preventative Shampoo If you live in an area where pests are a particular nuisance, it may be a good idea to double up protection with a dedicated flea and tick shampoo. Flea and tick shampoos generally fall into two categories, preventative or treatment. Preventative shampoos contain natural pest repellents to help keep bugs away while treatment shampoos work with pesticides to kill any bugs that may already be living on your dog. We are firm believers that an inch of prevention is worth a pound of cure and like to avoid the use of harsh chemicals on our dogs. However, are fully aware that some situations call for the use of treatment shampoos. Allergy Shampoo Allergies can be a serious concern, especially in the spring and summer. Allergy-specific shampoos contain fewer irritants, are gentler on the skin, and often contain soothing ingredients like aloe or oatmeal. How to bathe a dog Now that we have covered how to choose a proper location and select the proper products, it's time to get down to business. Here is our top advice on how to give your dog a bath. While the concept may seem basic, there are several important things to keep in mind in order to not damage your dog's coat or skin. Step 1. Brush It is important to remove any knots or mats from your dog's coat prior to bathing. This is because they can become even more unwieldy and difficult to remove after getting wet. Take the time to run through any troublesome spots and correct any issues before they become an even bigger problem. Step 2. Soak Always make sure to check the temperature of the water before using it on your dog. Once you have verified that it is warm and comfortable, bring the shower head close to allow the water to penetrate deeply into the coat. Use your hands to help work the water in while you maneuver the shower head around your dog. Make sure to take care to avoid the eyes and ears. These sensitive areas can be wiped down with a wet cloth instead. Water in the ear canal is one of the primary causes of dog ear infections. Step 3. Shampoo As opposed to pouring the shampoo right onto your dog, instead take the time to rub it into your hands to make sure that you get an even distribution. Next, using your fingertips, gently massage the shampoo into the coat. Let it sit on their fur for a few minutes to allow the active ingredients to absorb into the skin and coat. Step 4. Rinse once again, use the faucet head at close range to penetrate deep into the coat and wash the suds away. Simultaneously run your hands along your dog to help pull the remaining soap out of the hair. Shampoo will remain in the coat long after it can no longer be seen on the surface, so keep at it for several run-throughs until the water runs clear. Leftover shampoo can be irritating to your dog's skin. Step 5. Dry. Vigorous rubbing with a towel can damage a dog's coat. The best technique for drying is to first use your hands to run along the coat and squeeze out as much water as possible. Next, use a towel to blot off the majority of the moisture. Finally, if available, use a blow dryer to remove the last of the water. If your dog is fearful of the blow dryer, use a similar behavior shaping technique with treats as you did to get them into the tub. Getting them accustomed to the shape and smell of the device without the noise first should be a big help. Never use a heated cage dryer to dry your dog. Not only can this be a frightening experience, but it has even led to dog deaths when left unattended or malfunctioning. Giving your dog a bath can be an enjoyable experience for both of you. So relax, have fun and remember that you are most likely going to get wet. Finally, if you are home or in the yard, be prepared for some post-bath zoomies. What are your tips for giving a dog a bath? Let us know in the comments and thanks for watching.